What's up, everyone? I'm going to do my Nationals recap video. First off, uh, all the guys that I've met before, have hung out with. Uh, great seeing all of you again. Um, amazing time, as always. Lots of laughs. And uh, all the new YouTubers that I met for the first time. Was really excited about it. Hoped everybody that uh, had planned on going was going to go. And that seemed to be the case. And it was amazing meeting all of you. Uh, Tons of great people, even people that I wasn't really sure about. Uh, I thought, I don't know what they're going to be like, and, uh, you know, could be kind of douchey. No, great people. <laughs> it was a, it was an absolute blast. So you never know. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you are like, that Smitty seems like a total asshole. And uh, I am, but if you met me, you might not think I was. Anyways, I'm going to get on to the cards. Uh, might talk about it more depending on how long this lasts or make a whole nother video talking about the experience. But, uh, yeah, cards. Let me get to it. Stuff people uh, handed me. Chris hooked me up Sixfer, with this uh, David Boston auto. Uh, kind of funny. It's been a while, a while back, just talking about wanting a David Boston auto. And he said he had one uh, and brought that along. Uh, had that guy in fantasy football years ago, tore it up, and... Uh, dude was just huge and he was also a huge head case but a uh, very cool there Pete Bronco man handed me uh, this Baldwin jersey from timeless treasures and it goes along awesome with the patch version uh, that Matt partly cloudy forgot the numbers I think 531 maybe Matt I'm sorry um, this three color patch got another card from Matt I'll show here in a bit but both versions of that, I thought that was really cool. Uh, Saturday, got a chance to talk to BT Thomas. It's awesome talking to you. Very down to earth, uh, down to earth guy. Genuine, really nice. Wish we had more time to hang out and talk. But uh, pulled these out of his box, and I was like, no, no, I just want to talk to you. You don't have to give me anything. And he insisted uh, from Elite, a couple. Uh, Inserts that one's number to 299. This one's number to 87. Die cut of uh, the new tight end who is actually above Moyaki on the depth chart right now. Saw that last night. And then this really nice from Prime Signatures number to 25 dual auto of Don Terry Poe and Devin Wiley. So thanks again, Thomas. Uh, totally unnecessary. I just like sell them and buy something. You know, all those cards there. I mean, all this. Could have just been sold or traded for stuff for other people's PCs, so it's just crazy. Or spending money on a card, spending money, you know, there's stuff there for you. So it meant a lot. Uh, Everett, got a chance, I actually roomed with Everett. Uh, had these and handed them to me Friday once we got to the hotel. Number to 45, dual jersey of Barry from Tribute. Uh, number to 5. Patch, Emerald Patch of Lynn Dawson. I've got the Emerald Patch Auto, so that's cool. We've got both of those. Uh, from 2010 Limited, Jamal Charles, one color patch auto, number to 15. From this year's National Treasures. Whoa, beautiful card. Uh, Jamal Charles, Jersey Autograph, number to 25. And then this Tools of the Trade Jumbo, three color patch, number to 10 of Dwayne Bowe. So thanks again, Everett. Uh, absolute blast. That guy was fun to watch the show. I mean, he was in heaven. Uh, Tyson had busted a couple Magdorn boxes of 2010 Topps Chrome and handed me this rookie card. I'm going to try to do this rainbow, all 9.5s. This one is perfectly centered, great condition. So that hopefully grades 9.5. I told him if it graded a 10, I was going to ding a corner after cracking it, send it back for 9.5. And uh, then I also had this Jonathan Baldwin, the die cut gold variation autograph, number to 25. Really cool. I got Derek Johnson like that. So thanks again. Always fun hanging out, seeing you. Uh, Scott, Jayhawk1971, pulled this. Uh, I know I did a real quick set announcement. Uh, a long time ago, oh, months ago, where I just showed magnetics and didn't actually announce the set because I didn't want people trying to uh, 
get me set cards. I didn't want to be bidding them up or them bidding me up or have to owe somebody. So uh, I just kind of kept it to myself. A few people knew and quite a few people know now that I'm pretty far along with it. But I got three more left in this set after this. The uh, gold uh, variation, Immortals autograph. Scott pulled the Allen Page, would not accept a payment, just told me to take it. Uh, number three out of 25. Thanks again, Scott. Uh, crazy that you pulled one of the four I needed in that set. Uh, tough pulls as it is, and for it to be one of them I need. Uh, craziness. Thanks again. Uh, Ryan, uh, RBI of RBI Crew 7, had this waiting for me. This is the only Eric Berry that I came home with. Uh, I saw nothing. I saw maybe four or five Eric Berry cards in boxes. I was also looking for Toby Gerhardt cards for Matt Ward and just could not come across any of that stuff. Uh, <clears throat> looked in, I mean, obviously it wasn't in cases. Stuff that me and Matt needed would probably be in a case because it's so low numbered. But uh, even in boxes, I mean, came across nothing and that was frustrating. But Ryan had this one, number to 10, the prime version of this certified set which I really love this set and a uh, great year for certified before it went to shit but Ryan I already called you again uh, thanks you another seven eight nine ten times once I realized I, I didn't have it I didn't think I did and uh, one of the first things I did when I got home to check to make sure and boom uh, I love this card I can't say it enough and then Matt uh, part of cloudy this is the other card he handed me I believe it was Friday night. He went to a table that I was at making a purchase and uh, kept asking me. Uh, there's another card. I was looking here. I'll just show you this. It's another card I picked up. I was looking at this card uh, National Treasures, three color patch auto of Jonathan Baldwin. I was looking at that, but wasn't sure if I was going to buy it because uh, I thought the price was a little bit high. But then I, he kept asking me, you know, are you going to buy that? Are you going to buy that? I could tell he was itching to get it for me once I walked away. So I packaged that and another card together. And I went ahead and got that to try to cock block him on buying something for me. And he found something else and did it anyways. And this card is badass. And I'm talking way too much. The video is going to be long. Uh, number three out of ten. Uh, dual patch of Joe Montana and Rich Gannon. Absolutely amazing card from 2003 Limited. Couldn't believe it. Uh, Matt, thanks again. You did not have to hit me back with anything. Uh, like I've said before, sending you the card I sent you, just totally paying it forward. Did not expect anything in return. Uh, I'm going to say it again. I absolutely love this card. Uh, great meeting him. Matt, uh, yeah, exactly what he is in his videos. Uh, great guy. Really down to earth. And I'm going to go through some more cards fast. Stuff I picked up. Uh, framed mini auto. Brandon Flowers. Justin Houston auto from Playbook. Got that really cheap. Along with this one as well. Gridiron Kings. Uh, Bobby Bell auto. Don't have much of his stuff. Really cool design. Uh, always kind of like those great Iron Kings. That's number to 50. Uh, number to 1 out of 10 from list, uh, this past year's National Treasures. Three color patch, Jamal Charles. Got a, another Tools of the Trade, different variation from, or this might be a whole different year. I don't know. 2009, number to 15. Three color patch, Dwayne Bow. This card. Awesome, number to 25, dual patch of Tony Gonzalez, I believe is the correct way. Michael, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, die cut Chiefs here, number 3 out of 10. Really cool card. Priest Holmes, patch. And a Jamal Charles, number to 25, rookie freshman fabric, jumbo patch, three color. And uh, yeah, we're at 10 minutes. Holy crap. Uh, also picked up the last of the Chiefs pickups. Number 69 out of 99, making this a sexual position. One of one, Dwayne Bow, National Treasures. 
uh, rookie patch auto. <clears throat> There's one guy that had a few of the exquisites um, and probably like eight of the National Treasures RPAs of Jamal Charles, but he was way high, like double of what they go for. So I was not able to pick up a nice rookie patch auto of him. And I'm just going to call that a video for now. Uh, i got some more stuff to go through. But, yeah, I'm going to cut it off there. Try not to keep it, make it really long. So, yeah, that's a wrap. I'm going to put all this stuff away. Go upload this once again. Amazing times. Uh, so many great people. And the show in general, I mean... It's a lot to take in. A uh, lot to take in. I was sore afterwards. Imagine it, uh, if I could compare it to anything, I guess that would be like uh, the first time with a black man. You know? Just overwhelmed. And ended up with a huge gaping hole in my wallet. But, thanks for watching. There will be another part, I guess. I'm rambling. Peace!